Here's the second video on operator overloading, and there I think we'll have another one um, coming up. I think there will be a part three. I'm not sure when that'll be this week or next week. All right. Um, the last one we did the plus operator, and to show you there can be different kind of operators, um, I'm going to do I'm going to do the equal sign. All right, the assignment operator. When you see a single a single equal sign, you should think assignment operator when you're talking about computer programming. All right, I'm using a lot, of, I'm using the same format so you don't have to recalibrate if you, if this is just coming off of the first one. All right, I've got a numbers class, first and second, two integer variables. I've got my two, I got my two constructors, one where I don't send any arguments and where I send it, one where I send it both integers. And my print um, function that just prints out first equals, second equals. Inside of main, um, I've got um, two objects, numbers A, which I send a 6 and a 9, and B, which I use the default co um, uh, constructor. I'm going to run this just to show you. A equal, uh, first equals 6, second equals 9. And um, for the B, first equals zero, second equals zero. All right. Um, last week we did the copy constructor. And, whoops, that's supposed to be a B. All right. What that did, copy constructor copies everything over on initialization. You can also use the equal that will um, assign all the variables in one object to another object. So if I did B equals A, this is gonna look a lot like the uh, copy constructor did. All right, I'm assigning everything in A to B and I'm running the same program again. Oops. I didn't have my print on. Okay, there'll be uh, two sets, the for initial one and uh, after I've assigned A to B. So you can see 6900, zero, zero, then 6969. Nine, six, nine. So that's how the equal works in this case. All right. When you, you can overload the equal operator where it can do just about infinite amount of things. I'm going to go down here again and pull up my, op, uh, um, my overloaded function. I'm going to go up and print it inside of it inside my class. All right, this is going to look a lot like the other one. I'm, op, I'm overloading the assignment operator. So there's the function, it's numbers, I mean, I'm sorry, there's the class numbers, operator equal the assignment operator, not the equal sign, think of it as the assignment operator. And I'm going to send it um, the address of a class. Inside this, I'm going to make this assignment operator do something weird. I'm going to make it multiply everything inside of what I sent and double it, multiply by two. So when I use the equal sign, it's not going to just um, it's not going to just copy numbers over. It's going to double them, then assign them to the other class. Okay, look how I've got this n dot first, n dot second. They're on the right side, and again, the operator is on this on the left side. If that's how you think of it. And that's how I think you should. And then I'm going to return the temp because this returns an object. Now let's go down. Look how I'm going to call it. Okay. I'm going to just do B equals A assignment operator. Okay. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to run the overloaded function on A, and it's going to assign and return it to B. So. 
This should double 6 and 9. We should get 12 and 18 when I print out B the second time. So you get two sets of numbers, A, um, A and B in the initial print. And then after assigning A, basically doubled, I'm going to assign it to B, and then I'm going to print them out. Six nine zero zero, then six nine twelve eighteen. So you can see I did something sort of nonsensical with the uh, um, overload load, uh, assignment operator, but it shows you what you can do with the overload. Anything that you're the programmer, you're in control. You can do some wild things in C plus plus. And operator overloading is one of them. It's going to turn out. It's going to turn out. You're going to see some of the shortcuts you can take with it uh, in our next program. In our next program, it's going to be operator operator overloading, and we're going to use this kind of technique to overload um, operators of all types. All right. I would suggest you play with this a little bit. Doesn't take much to code this in. You can see a very short amount of code. I put uh, everything in one file. There's my class. One of the things I want to mention to you is when you do a class, when you do a one file class, always put a semicolon after it. You can chase that for a while. That's a mistake a lot of people make. Um, I make it regularly. So put a semicolon after your class before you start your int main. And all my functions were um, in line, so I didn't need member functions. I put them all inside the class. All right, that's the introduction. Those two videos are the introduction to operator overloading.